Okay, welcome back. We're going to go ahead and now add in the interior rooms to our house. So if you're currently on the area plan, I want you to go back to the floor plans, level one, and I want you to double click on that. That's going to take you back to your floor plan. And this is where we edit things, not in the area plan, which will of course have the square footage and this will kind of interfere or get in the way of things. So once you're on here, we're going to add in our interior walls and I've already kind of mapped out a few that I'd like to do. So go to wall and I'd like you then to go to the properties where it says basic wall or yours might say something different. And I want you to open it up and scroll down to the interior three and one eighth inch partition wall. So this is just a very thin partition wall, not really good for sound or insulation. Uh, but will be uh, will be acceptable for this project. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And now we're going to kind of start to map out those interior walls. So first, I want you to hover over this right wall here. And when you get to the center, you're going to notice a triangle form. That's the midpoint of the house. So I'm going to use that to click and then essentially drag out a wall that's going to be 12 feet. So I'm going to go out to 12 feet and I can see right there on my dimension that it's 12 or I could type in the number 12 and then press enter and it will save it in place. And then I'm going to go down here and connect it to this exterior wall. After that, I'm going to go start it from the center again and I'm going to drag it up to that one. So these here are two of our bedrooms Then we're going to have a space, which right now I have the half bathroom and I'll probably modify it to have the closet in it as well. But this is going to go out from this point to uh, this point about eight feet. So I'm just kind of moving it out to about eight feet. And then I'm going to click there. I'm going to go down roughly 13 feet so it matches that first bedroom we made. And then I'm going to go out an additional 12 feet. Like that, click, and then up here and click. So that's our third bedroom for our home. Down here, we're going to add in our uh, bathroom, our kitchen, and then our additional space needed for our washer dryer and possibly some additional storage. So starting at this point, I'm going to go up roughly six and a half feet. So this is six, six, and I'm going to click and I'm going to drag this line out all the way to the end of the house like that. Then let's go ahead and start our next line starting from here. I want you to go out roughly nine feet, or I guess it's a little block. So I'm going to go out from this point since this distance from here to here is eight feet. I'm going to go out an additional foot and I'm going to draw a wall down here. So that's roughly nine feet. I'm going to go out an additional nine feet, or I guess it's measuring from that wall. So from here to here, that will be an additional nine feet. And then this area will most likely be our kitchen. Over here, I just need to add in that last half bathroom slash potential closet space. So I'm going to start up here. And I'm going to go down a total of nine feet. So that will mean this will be four. So I'm going to click and I'm going to drag out and then I'm going to click again. And then I'm going to press escape twice. So this is the essentially the rough layout of our house. And depending on what we need or how I adjust things, we're going to kind of work with it from here. Okay. So now that you hopefully have that or you're kind of working towards it, let's go ahead and add in some doors. Adding in doors is a fairly straightforward process. On the architecture tab, you want to make sure you have the door option available. And we're going to click on that. Once you've clicked on it, by default, you have a single flush door. If you remember the requirements of the project, the doors had to be 36 inches wide. So this door will be acceptable. However, if I click on it, you'll notice that we have a bunch of other options that won't be acceptable. So just make sure you stay clear of these ones. Although if you want a slightly sh smaller door, you can use that, but we're just going to stick with the default 36 by 84 for all the interior doors. And then we're just going to add a more, I don't want to say lucrative, but a more formal exterior door for the outside. So I'm going to select that 36 by 84 single flush and then I'm going to put a door over here. So 
let me kind of zoom in so you can kind of see that better. I'm going to put a door, you know, right over here, about two feet from the center. I'm going to then put an additional door over here one over here and don't worry if it's not like perfectly matching my only goal is to get them roughly about two feet or so from where they're opening one there one there and lastly for now at least one over here okay so we've added all those doors now however the doors aren't all facing the right way so i'm going to press escape a few times and I'm going to kind of adjust my view a little bit. Uh, we want these doors to essentially be facing inside the rooms in case, let's say, there was a fire or something, that you would be able to open the door towards you and escape the house. However, if something had collapsed in front of the door and you try to push it outward and there's something blocking the door, then you cannot escape. So, like, this door here is acceptable, but this door here while it's acceptable, is essentially facing the wrong way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that door. And when I do, these arrows show up. I'm going to click on this one here to flip the door that way. So if you think about where that little spring thing is near the door, now this one kind of matches. This door over here is OK. Uh, yep, except it's a little out, so I'm going to select it. And I'm going to just tap the keyboard once, so it kind of pushes it a little off the edge there. This one also is flipped the wrong way, so I'm going to select it and flip it around. So that's good. This one's good. This one I'm going to select and flip it around. So no matter which room you're in, you can always open the door to escape out of the house. And our main entrance is going to be over here. Now for the kitchen, we're going to do something a little bit different. So I'm leaving that one kind of closed off for now. Okay, for the more formal exterior doorway, I'd like you to go to Door. And we're going to load that in because right now all these doors are pretty stock and we need something a little more formal for that exterior. So I'm going to go to load family and then I'm going to go to the doors folder. So I'm going to double click on that. Once you've done that, you're going to notice you have a lot of door options. And if I click on one of them, you'll have a preview. So you can do that with any door. Just click once on it and you'll see a preview of that door. Now, however, we want to be in residential, so I'm going to go up to the residential folder. I'm going to double click on that. And now I'm going to click on just the first one and see the preview. However, I'm not going to select this door. I want you to scroll down and think about what kind of exterior doorway you want. We do have a few options over here that state exterior on them, but they both contain glass. And if you think about a Habitat home with a glass front door, that might not be the safest option to consider. So we're going to choose one of these interior doorways that don't have any glass on it. And something like this, this four panel wood would be a perfectly fine acceptable door. Or something like this, a door interior six panel would be fine. So I think that's going to be the door of our choice, the door interior single six panel wood. I'm going to go ahead, press open. Uh, everything here looks fine. So I'm going to press OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this door in the project. I'm going to have it so that this door kind of uh, faces, let's say, inward as well, so that you can open it from the inside. And I'm going to make it about two feet from that wall, click it there. And then I'm going to just go and click these arrows here to flip the direction. And now I'm going to press Escape twice. OK, so that's the final door we need to add. And I'll see you in the next video where we're going to update our kitchen as well as label each of the rooms. I'll see you then. Peace.